Beautiful. So cool. here we are for Q and A. Q and A. We've got plenty of them, and thanks for everybody for uh, all the comments. Yes. More is always appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certainly more. And it doesn't matter what it's about. Like no. all these other ones have been really, really good. So yeah. um, it's very impressive. So we're pretty much going to get started. Number one. Number so one. thanks. If, if, if you watched the Monday show, there was a couple in there as well. Yeah, yeah, there was a couple in there. <clears throat> Which so the other day. a couple of those. I like this one. Desmond underscore with the smiley face. Okay, Desmond. G'day, Desmond. A couple of questions for you guys. Um, how are you finding the new MMC irons, Al? I don't have the MMC irons, but I'm looking at getting them. Yes. Um, I'm looking at them. I'm testing. I eventually might. Uh, we'll see. I'm using MP18 blades. Yep. Because I'm a player or not, but I do like the MP20 MMCs. They yes. do look man. They yeah. ones. Yeah. They don't look much bigger than the blades, but they've got that little bit of help that I'm after. Sort of reminds me of like an MP64 and stuff. MP20 range, very good. Brilliant. Yep. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. brilliant. I hit, hit all the irons in those. Mm -hmm. uh, not quite for me, but certainly the. HMB. And HMB was very good. HMB for you was spot on. Um, it would suit a lot of people. HMB has been very popular. Yep, and I have no doubts I can see why. Um, very good club. Certainly for, like I said, if you strike the ball a little bit better, mm. then you could move down. But, um, yeah, no, really good range. But I think one of the better game improvement irons for a long time. Yes. I mean, the whole no, thing is, H HMB's as, as far pretty as, much spot on. As far as the feel and the looks, yeah. um, I'm not saying the hot metals were very good. But right? I know what you're saying, like in comparison but, to how they look. Yeah, just, just the, they got them on looks. Literally literally a blade look, sort of look, the P790 is the same yep. sort of thing, looks like a blade. Yep. Uh, but the HMB feels better. Yep. I think, I still think over the ball, I think the P790, the new one, looks a little bit better. Yep. It looks a bit like, yeah, it's a bit chunky still, but but from the shape and the way it looks at a dress, I like more than the HMB, yep. but the feel of HMB is better than yeah, practically got anything got else. Got very nice. yep. Yeah, uh, Desmond's got another question. Another one. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, also, oh. what are your thoughts on the whole Epstein conspiracy? I'll let you go because you are a tinfoil hat wearing person, so the conspiracy stuff is, is, is your forte. Oh, I think there's dodgy people everywhere. <laughs> so, Pretty what are you well. saying? Oh, I don't know. Did Epstein kill himself? That's the question I think Desmond's asking. Yeah. It doesn't matter. He's gone. <laughs> no, 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 but that, 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 that's not the answer. Mate. Jesus Christ, mate. You're a fence sitter, oh. aren't you? Don't know. He obviously knew a lot about a lot of people. <clears throat> so, maybe. Well have you looked in or have you seen? No, you know, not, not a lot of right, stuff. So, just letting you know so, this is the Gripmaster Kangaroo leather grip, and it's really, really tacky. And Epstein didn't kill himself. You reckon you did? No, not, not a chance. Probably. That's a silly man. Um, no, no, look, if things don't make sense, right? The His cellmate was not there, the officers who were to be watching him. Weren't there. Yeah, it's funny how all these And somehow the cameras uh, weren't working. Yeah, yeah. And something uh, about well, it. There's lots, of, lots of funny things. It only happens if you have a cricket knot. Do you remember when the Sri Lankan cricket team Doesn't got, make sense. got um, shot up? Shot up. Like, every day they went to their test match, the two team buses right behind each other, and this day they happened to be separated without the police escort. And they got attacked. Well, something. Yeah. I mean, things happen to them, right? I know. See, but for me, sound, and look, if you're American and you hate that. me for this, so be it. The September 11 thing doesn't make sense. Like, the, yes, people died, that sucks, but the way it fell is not good. And then Tower 7, look, look into it yourself, make your own. No, I think people look too hard into it. I think it's exactly how it was. Wow, a building that doesn't get hit at all falls down just like those ones that got hit. No, 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 like, okay. No, no, I blew it up. I'm not saying it was... A, so how did it fall the way it did? Fine. Look, I, okay. If nothing else, Some if you want to happen. look at... So, yeah, you, you're 100% you're right. Something's just happened. Yep. I think, I, people, build, I think people look way too hard and they're looking for 
all these other excuses. No, no, no. Know, like, it was a bunch of dudes that didn't like America and they flipped planes and all. No, no, I, 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 fair, fair enough. Yep. I'll, I'll let you think about this. Not a single building has ever fallen from fire, ever. And on that day, three buildings did. Okay, cool. That, 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 that's the only fact that I'm going to put out there. You can look into it. How you? It sucks what's happened, regardless. You know what I mean? I'm not saying there's that, but yeah. something. It doesn't look perfect. Or perfect how it does. Thanks for the question, but the Epstein comment below and the Epstein conspiracy. Ask Andrew. Yes, ask Andrew. <laughs> ask Andrew. Well, Thank you very much, Desmond. I, I like they it. Did, didn't they? I think so. I th yeah, that's going to be interesting, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Um, mm, mm, mm. Sean O'Reilly, for tomorrow, what are the topics you would like to cover on your podcast and what network will you be able to find on? Um, podcast, we were actually going to just do a, I think we're just going to do, a, well, we're not going to have time today, uh, but just a basic podcast like this. So, so this pretty much is a podcast. If I took the audio off this, then it could be the podcast. Yeah. Right, because the audio is okay. I would like it slightly cleaner. Yeah. Um, instead of just being one camera and us looking at the camera, I would like to have a setup where there's maybe three cameras, two cameras, potentially, because yep. I would like to film it. <clears throat> I would like it to be live, but there's there's more shit involved with that. But one day we'll get there. Um, I don't know. I haven't looked into it enough. I'm thinking any network you can find podcasts on, I suppose. Spotify. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know <laughs> how to do it. Know. Well, but no, it's one of them. Spotify, probably. Is Look, it? yeah, Spotify's one thing. Oh, all right. I was just guessing. But you're a good guess. Um, oh, I'm all over it. He's, he's, the, he, he's the tech wizard. <laughs> but you got to hit the bell after you hit subscribe. Oh, do you? Yeah, you got to go subscribe. Oh, then the bell. And if you're already subscribed, then the bell's not dinged. Then just ding that bell. Ding, ding. Well done. Beautiful. So, yeah, yeah look, we'll, we'll get it done. It's just, again, it's a timing thing, I think. Yep. We need to organise a time to do it. There's actually a studio we're looking at, hiring out. Uh, it's just getting a couple of people together on that day, that time to go and do it. And then potentially we'll purchase some equipment. Like, that's... Uh, yes, but we're looking at going... People know this makes money. It makes very little money. And all that sort of goes into a kitty and we're looking at going to New Zealand or President's Cup, but I think New Zealand would be better. Would, would you not agree? Yeah. Yeah, we could just drive to Melbourne whenever we want. Not to go and play somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know. Yeah, it? yeah, a hundred percent. So, so I, I think if we do New Zealand, that'll be really good because it'd be different courses and comment below north or south. I couldn't stand following your anger. I'm just telling you. Oh, stop it, mate! You'd be like a you'd be like a schoolgirl, right? Yep, I would be. Yeah, yeah. Yep, you and Daniel. Mate, I love Tiger. I yeah. would like to see the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no I, I don't. But yeah. is it those pajamas? That dude painted as Tiger. Oh, the, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I sent it to him and said, That's you. you, mate. Do yeah. reading for Yeah, he, he's, getting he's getting pumped up for it. He's getting pumped up for it. What topics would you like to cover on the podcast? And, and, and then what topics would we cover on the podcast? Like, I. Yeah. For, for me. If, if, and we're, that's probably 2OB is what we'll call it, if we can call it that. Um, it's two ordinary blokes. Well, we talk about shit off camera, like Andrew, other Andrew, not Andrew, Andrew yeah. Somerville. Uh, I spoke to yesterday at Gainsborough. We just talk about shit. We just talk about anything. Yeah. The like, world, it politics, will, it golf. It will be golf a little bit. Sort of where does golf, into, for me, mm. where does golf fit in to your world? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It's because it's, 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 I've always sort of said the same thing, isn't it? Like, do you know, work, politics, golf, it, it, it affects it all a little bit. If how your life's affected will affect how much golf you play. That's how right. Much money you have to spend on golf. That's right. So, golf so, so it's a bit of everything. Like, so, it'll be golf related, but not too much. Mm. Um, it'll be life related, pretty much. That's why the hashtag of life journey, golf journey, was uh, sort of we're using a little bit. Golf, uh, golf's good for you. I, uh, yeah, it is. And I, and, and I did fit a gentleman the other day, and I hope he doesn't mind uh, me saying this, Daniel, uh, Dan, ex serviceman, PTSD, turned to unsavory things turn to drugs and alcohol to get over it and not talk about it 
Yeah. He then started talking about it, and he got his head right off the drugs five or six years, I think he said now. Yeah. Actually, three years. Three years. It's three years just now. Um, and took golf up. And now he's, again, he probably has that personality, that drive and the drivenness to, well, to be in an SAS soldier and to be there. So to, to get into the army, to then get into the elite, and then to then not be there yep. and put all of his efforts into drugs and alcohol, to then come out and be clean, to then put it into golf. So now he's addicted to golf. So that's yes. you know, much better. So, th again, I wouldn't mind to get Daniel on, you know, to have a chat because it's... It affects a lot of people. Nearly everyone has an addictive personality. Yes. Some sort of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whether it be golf, whether it be you, drugs. What's your addiction? Life. Life addiction. <laughs> I like it. Ah, oh, I think we all do something. No, no, I, I agree. Like, yes, our per some, some well, personalities are well, more addictive than others, or have and, and you, nearly men more than girls. Yeah, yeah. Right, because yeah, you yeah. have a look at. Like, look at video games. Look well, you can't addictive. say that. Look at video games again. Well, <laughs> <laughs> a female no. could do whatever you do. No, but you look at video games. Most of them are played by men. Most of them aimed at men. Yes. Or, or boys. Yeah, yeah no, no, right? no, that's fair. But, you know what I mean? You have a look at it. I, there's three girls and two boys here. The boys play video games. Girls aren't really that interested. Mm. Never have been. Like, it, so... We sort of got that bit of a addictive personality. I Whatever it is, it's just it's what yeah, yeah, but again, I, it, hopefully it's something. Hopefully more, this doesn't hurt feelings, but this is a generalization. We know females and and non-binary people can be addicted to things too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, sorry, I just have to clarify, yeah. <laughs> mate. I'm I'm being a shit stir. I'm sorry. No, but um, if you have a look at it, like I said, it's, what you hope is that what you get addicted to is yeah not going to destroy your life yeah. bad for you correct correct well, unfortunately most of the time it's a bit more the destructive yes thing. and that's why well done dan if you're watching yeah yeah and like well, I said, well, well, and well done to people, people who to, have come across something that they can then put their energy into it that is less destructive than what they may have oh, had before well, it's it's good like i said good for your mental health good mm -hmm. for you physically Get it on the golf course. So that's what yeah. the podcast is going to be about. Yeah. It's not just golf. It will be slightly golf related, yep. I, I believe. Uh, but it'll just be having a chat. Yep. Golf will be a small part of it. And then hopefully maybe on the first couple of episodes it'll be about our journey in golf. Where you yeah. started, what it is, that's where you played, where you'll bring up. And, same as me. And, and that's why I was reckon it's good for kids. Like You go through all those emotions when you play golf. Yeah. Get a birdie. Alright. Hit it on the water. Oh, I'm not so happy. Like you go through all these emotions yep. in a round of golf, and you know what? That's what happens in life. Yeah. Anyone that says that I am happy 24 hours a day, whatever they're taking, they need to give to everyone else. Correct. Because so, everyone's well, got ups, downs. You'll 100%. feel happy, sad. These are normal emotions, and maybe playing golf and feeling those emotions will allow you to be able to deal with them maybe in life. That's right. I spoke with Stefan the other day too, watches the channel from Germany, I think he's from Germany, Border, well, was in South Africa for a bit, uh, he watches the channel, Stefan? Stefan! Stefan, yeah. Not, not Stefan, I said is it Stefan oh. or Stefan, uh, whatever. Stefan, hey dude. A little bit different, but Stefan. Not the same bloke. No, 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 a little bit different. Oh, that's a shame. Not, not Stephen Ackery. Oh, oh, I was for free here. <laughs> not Stephen. Um, so, Stephen. <laughs> oh, he, may a perm. He did. Oh, I'd love oh. to see you in a perm. Oh, little oh, Jerry Curls. I oh, would love Sorry, to have a perm. Yeah, you, I, I would love hey? that too. One of those real tight ones. Yeah, that's yeah, what I said. Little, little Jerry Curls. From the 80s. Yeah, Little Jerry Curls. I think oh. they call them Jerry Curls. Bit of, bit of dye through it. The only reason I know the name Jerry Curl is because if you go <laughs> to Dave Chappelle's skit uh, <laughs> with Prince, that's the other reason I know it. But anyway, one of the funniest things ever. Um, Stefan was saying that he conducts most of his business meetings on the golf course. Yes, I, and I see like I said, why. And, you, know, you get to see the true character of a person. Do you cheat? Do you swear? Do you chuck I, clubs? Do you you know what do you do? People what do you tell do? you that for years. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, you know, I went and played golf with this bloke. Yeah, never played him again. Yep. I spent four hours with him. Yep. yep. Nah. You knew who or what a great bloke. Correct. Love to have him with him again. Yep. Perfect. Love it. Without a doubt. Thank you, Shawnee O'Reilly, for that question. Uh, Landon, uh, Landon, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Ormond White, Whitehall? Yep. 
Yep. So sorry, I butchered that for sure, Landon. Landon. Uh, the opening of Helen's Vale is happening this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Will you guys be doing a show on the golf course? Are you guys attending the opening? Good to see the course reopening. I, I couldn't agree more to see it reopening. Are we going to be down there? The answer is no. I've got work. Yeah, but I'm going to train school on Saturday. Yep. Um, it would be good to get down there, but, yeah, we'll, but Matty we'll, Clayton might be down there. Yep. So say good day to Matty Clayton if you're down if, there. If he's down there, yep. And, and thank, we will definitely thank, get down there. One hundred percent. And thank that. Brett for opening it back up and um, his family. You know what? Any golf course that reopens, that's fantastic. Yep. And all the best to him. Hope it goes really well. I hope it stays there. Hope they get plenty of members there. Plenty of people playing there. It was a good course. I played there years ago. Never been. No, uh, good course. Tell, um, tell Brett to go open up Gold Coast Country Club just across the way because I never played it. Yeah. There you go, because that'd be yeah. nice. <laughs> but, you know, that's what we want. We hear all the time about courses closing down or in trouble and all sorts of stuff. Um, to have a course reopen, looks like he's done some good stuff. Club. I'm not sure whose that number is. I'm not going to answer it. Uh, the club looks, clubhouse looks really good. Cool. Black Duck bloody room or restaurant looks yep. mint. Yep, looks fantastic. But actually, I'll, I'll try yeah. to show you just in case people haven't seen. As, as golfers, of course, we want courses to stay open, reopen, or new courses. That is exactly right. right. That's what we want, and that's why we're always black, dark restaurant and function centre. And, and, and that's why it's always a little bit. Oh, I'll, I'll stop short saying. Okay. Upsetting, but. It's always disappointing, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for, when courses do close. Yes, 100%. You know what I mean? If and courses are in trouble, it sucks. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the greatest course in the world or a little country track. But, you know, there's always been people that have loved that. That's why they've played there. Um, you know, some of the little country towns that really struggle, and for lots of different reasons, because they've gone through drought in pretty hard times. Um, that's all the towns have really had. Correct. Do you know what I mean? They haven't had much else there, and of course, once that goes, you feel like oh, there's even more of your town dying. Yes. You know, you suddenly lose that, and people move away, and then other places shut down, and you feel like your heart's been ripped out of your town. Agreed. Now, there's no real, there's not too many pictures there, but... Most well, picture of me. Yeah, there's a picture of the shark. There's a picture, there's a that's, picture of Richard. That's me working out. <laughs> it is. With those um, skipping rope things. The heavy things. Um, what are they yeah, there's not, I don't even know what they're called actually. Skipping ropes. Um, there was, I remember seeing a picture in there at some stage. Look, yeah. I, I, I haven't, I'm, I can't come across it. But again, well done, Brett. Look, at the, at the end of the day, good on Brett for, for sort of opening it back up. I think it's a, yeah. it's a very, very good thing. I've never played it, so it'd be very, very good to play it. Um, let's go two more questions and that'll be the end of part one and then we'll do a, a part two uh, as well. Uh, how's the new golf clubs going, Richo? Mate, fuzzy go. McBear. Hello. Fuzzy, fuzzy. Get it, fuzzy. Um, <laughs> How are the new clubs? Mate, go, going pretty good. We've had a little bit of a tinker with them. Um, starting to find the middle a little bit more. Mm. So I think once I uh, get that middle of the club more often, well, we need to play more too, mate. I mean, look, dead. I mean, yep. I know you're hitting in the backyard a little bit, but once every two weeks, three weeks at the moment, we're and, having and it here. It's, not, like it's not enough. Yeah. Um, look, I, I I think they're really good. They feel fantastic. Yes. Even when I get them a little bit towards the toe, they still feel really good. Yeah. Um, and that's what you're after when you get them. Yeah. When, yeah, when you got yeah. them, isn't it? The feel and the sound. I look. I think I'll, I'll, I'll be here. I'll end up hitting them uh, similar to what I was hitting the other ones. They won't be far off distance-wise. Yeah, no, yeah. they won't be far off. Well. I think once I'm getting a groove and hitting that middle, you know, look at the one hit, the six iron hit yesterday. Probably as good as six iron. Hit. True. Like, yep. Dead straight. Yeah. Good it's distance. Good, good straight. Good distance. I mean, there was, we we're never going to get 10 metres further. That was never the aim. <sighs> no, like, it wasn't even really about getting further. It was no. just about getting, you wanted a better look, which you got. Yep. Uh, you got a much better feel, because it's fully forged yep. instead of a steel face. And the sound. And forgiveness dropped off a little bit, but not by much. No. Like, you, like they're still very, very forgiving for what they are. Really good looking yeah. head. Like, I hit them down there when, when we were at shows. I was 
super impressed. Yeah. Because no, I've hit yours in that makeup, but the other one had an X Flex shaft in it. I was like, yeah. holy snappers. Yeah, no, they were very good. Very, very good feel. And it was the same thing. I just wanted a set of irons that I could keep for a while. Yeah. And, that, and that's sort of anybody wants, yeah, really. Yeah, and just something that was, you know, old forge ones, built my fire. Built my fire, built from yep. coal. Yep. Ruined on the planet. A couple of craftsmen. <laughs> Ho hopefully, my little bit towards them will help uh, keeping that out alive. There you go. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you know, it is true. Good. Like I said, there's still some of those companies where they, you know, forge and stuff. And well, again, you know, there's still plenty of forge, but forged and then hand done. Yeah, yeah, you know, hand finished off and grinded and, you know, like I said, I mean, it all goes to hopefully keeping some of that uh, skills alive. Mm. Because, I mean, we used to do it here in Australia. And people used to come here to buy our irons. Yep. And, of course... Now we're not. Do we, we, we don't even have a brand in Australia. I don't... Look, I could, could be wrong. Maxfly wasn't even Australian, was it? Wasn't only, but they made them here. Yes, so that's so, why the Aussie play. Yes, so they can't. So Nicholas used to come here at the. So that's why half the reason why he came here for this rain opens. He come in and get a new set of irons for the mm -hmm. year. Like so, I think they branded them under because I think there was Slashinger and Spalding for a while. Yes. So they sort of branded them under that, and they were made here. And oh, I think it's a bit of a shame that I know there's Piranha Golf, but I think mate, they. Mm. I, I don't think they actually forged them here. I nah. could be wrong. If anyone's from Piranha Golf, you can let me know where you get your irons from. Perfect. But I can't think of any other company. Jeez, lots of emails just come through. Um, mm, 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 mm. No. Wayne Moulds, thank, uh, thank you, Fuzzy, for the question. Yep. Uh, last one for, for part one, <clears throat> and then we'll have a couple more. Uh, big question, President's Cup, your opinion. Will uh, How will it go? How will it go? Oh, one of the teams will win it. Somebody will. It's or draw. it'll be a draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh look, you, you'd have to. Look. I think the international team's in with a pretty solid... Effort, yeah. Oh, I think they will yeah. do okay this time. Yeah, yeah. Look, the USA team looks pretty solid. Like, yeah. If they all play well, you reckon that'd be hard to beat? Yes, I think so. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I think there'll be some good performances. Good but to see Cam in the team. Uh, good to see Adam Scott. There'll, there'll be someone out of the internationals that will, will play a little bit under the out of their skin and, and sort of jump out and it's always sort of happened a bit in those sort of team formats isn't yeah. it like look at when uh, Craig Perry mm. right like played out of his skin like but Perry that, can like, play out of his skin doesn't yeah, it long yeah. it's a, but he knows where it's going that's but, the thing but all golfers can it's just a matter of whether you do yeah, it do it when it when it's, when it's required so I'm sure one of them will mm. I, I think Aussie boys will, will Put a, a good effort in. Mm. I think uh, Scotty's in reasonable form. He is actually. I think um, Jason Day. I think will be very keen to play well. You know, because he doesn't come back to Australia too often. Yeah. So I think he'll be keen to um, play very well in front of because he knows that there's a lot of fans here. Yeah. Um, but having said that, the USA team will get a lot of support. A lot of very popular. Players amongst them. Mm -hmm. you know, no, no, I, mean, yeah. so, I think the internationals are in with a chance. Of course, I want the internationals to win. It's good to see Tiger down here. Simple. Very good. Thank you for the question, Wayne. End of part one. Yep. Cool. We're going to end this. We're going to start it again. Cool. Part two. Coming up either a day or so's time. I don't even know when this is coming out. But anyway. Part two. dos. Dos. See you guys. Thanks for the questions. More questions would be great. Cheers. Bye. And don't forget. You're smashing that like button. No, hit the thing. subscribe first. Oh, good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hit the subscribe and then, then the, bell. Then the ding -a -ling -a. We're supposed to do this at the start, but anyway. Oh, Maybe I'll do it at the start of the next. If you're watching this far, be prepared for a uh, <laughs> an opening <laughs> that, I don't know, we probably won't. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Beautiful. And don't forget, smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're that's what you say, don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. Hey? I don't know, if you don't like it, don't like it. Hit, hit dislike, who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you.